Well, hello everyone, Ron Vaccaro standing from the class of 1954 field at Yale Bowl. The blue-white spring game has taken place today. A very strong performance from the Yale offense and the defense as well. And uh, I caught up with Coach Tom Williams, who said before, you know, for outsiders it's a game, but for the team you were looking at it as your 12th spring practice. Yes. Well, from what everyone saw, it was one heck of a practice. Well, you know, hopefully you can see that we're a better football team. And I think that the guys came out with a renewed focus offensively. We were very efficient. We moved the ball consistently. Defensively, I thought we were a little bit sluggish to start. But what you saw was some give and take. And I think any time that's the case on a football team, that means you're getting better. Uh, so I'm, I'm very encouraged about where we are. And I thought our 12th practice was our best of the spring. I think you saw, from my perspective, and a lot of command and comfort level among the all the guys in the team and it, really after the spring that's a good thing to have. Well what a difference a year makes you know I think when you're going through a first year with the transition there's a lot of teaching you know we talked about changing the culture and, and the guys adjusting to how we do things and so we spent a lot of the first year just teaching them about how we're going to do things from here on out and what I think you're seeing year you know in the spring practice of year two is uh, there's a lot more comfort across the board and now we're actually able to coach some of the fundamentals of playing the game of football which is where I think we should be about right where we are right now. You're going to do a little withdrawal without any 7 a.m. practices now for the next several months? Listen, anytime we're not playing football, I go through withdrawals. You know, I, I'm, I'm a junkie. Uh, I miss it when we're not practicing, and uh, I'm gonna, certainly going to miss it. Uh, but we've got some tape to watch. We're going to evaluate the, the heck out of the tape and give ourselves a chance to get ready in the fall. Coach, my last question is about this day as a bigger picture and uh, inviting so many former players back and just really extending the umbrella of the Yale football family, a very nice pre-event reception and just... Perfect weather, God's a Yale fan, and uh, just uh, talk about your efforts and really just bringing people in. Well, the, the thing I want to make sure that every guy that's ever worn the white on their helmet understands is that this is their program. We're just caretakers of it. We want them all to come back and be a part of it, share in our successes, uh, 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 grieve in our failures, and, and know that we're all in this thing together. And if there's anything we can do, obviously, as a program for the guys that have graduated and gone on, and we'll do that. But we don't want anything from the guys that come back other than for them to uh, partake in what's happening here in Yale football. All right, Tom Williams, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. That's Tom Williams, head coach. All right, now we're joined by Adam Money, a key member of the Yale Secondary, and pretty pretty good day out there for the Blue-White Spring game. What are your thoughts? Um, I think our offense had a great day. Uh, I think just another year under Stark. Uh, Pat Witt looked really great today. Uh, they're really clicking. Uh, defense picked it up in the second half, uh, kind of got into a rhythm. It was nice. Uh, overall, I think it was a great spring. Uh, anytime you can get out there and play some football, it's, it's a great time. You're one of the leaders on this team and on this defense, one of the veteran players. And How does this compare to where you felt maybe in previous springs, getting ready for the summer and then the eventual season? Uh, well, I'm so used to being uh, the younger guy in the secondary. You know, I grew up with Casey Gerald, Steve Santoro, all those guys, great guys. Um, it's kind of the first spring that I was the older guy, the veteran. I had a year under my belt, and um, just trying to bring the younger guys along. Got a great group of guys coming up, Colin Bibb, Kurt Sotomayor, John Powers, uh, Donovan, who played last year, all of them great guys. Um, and it should be an exciting year for us in the secondary. And going to the 4-3 and some other changes, I mean, are you excited about those moves? Uh, yeah, I think the defense, it fits us a lot better uh, personnel-wise this year. I think Coach, uh, Coach Malloy does a great job of matching defense with uh, the personnel that we have. He's really good at picking out where people's strengths and weaknesses are, and uh, I think he, he's done a great job of putting us in a position to perform well on Saturdays. Well, thank you, Adam. Best of luck, and we'll talk to you in the fall. Thank you, Ron. All right, that's Adam Money. All right, and after the Blue-White Spring game, we're here with Patrick Witt, and uh, that was some performance. Yeah, thanks. It was uh, Couldn't ask for a better day today. I know everybody was excited to get out here, finish up spring on a high note, and I think we did just that. For those souls who came to practice after practice, it's kind of cool to see things come together. You really saw improvement throughout the spring, I thought. Absolutely. I, I think we came together as a group. We were able to form some, uh, some chemistry with the guys, and I know that first team, we feel really comfortable playing with one another, and that's going to show this fall. I think it was pretty important, too, to see some big play potential, too. That helps. Absolutely. That was really lacking from our offense last year, and I, I think uh, – even the drives that we didn't necessarily score, we were still on the field for about 12 plays, and we'd end up punting or uh, maybe trying to field goal or something like that. So not having to be out there for uh, you know grinding down the clock because obviously we're getting tired out there too is uh, it's really going to help us out this fall. Nice way to end this spring season and you know give a good taste in the mouth heading into the off season. Absolutely, I can't wait to uh, you know get back to work, uh, just getting our bodies ready over the summer, and uh, I'll be throwing with the receivers, getting that chemistry down, that timing. So. Uh, we're ready for the fall. I don't want to wish away the summer, but uh, we're ready to go this fall. All right. Well, thank you very much. That's Patrick Witt.